One of the beauties of working with architectural precast concrete is its ability to meet the needs of the designer. The word concrete is synonymous with hardness, yet the product is fluid when first mixed. Concrete has no intrinsic form, so it must be molded, shaped, and textured by skilled architectural precasters. This was the challenge for the design designed by the Linden Group Architects for the Shriners Temple in Addison, Illinois. The experience of the Lombard Architectural Precast Products Company and their willingness to explore new forming techniques led to a one-of-a-kind rock face finish that was both beautiful and economical. So I, I said to Bill, I said, well, you know, what were you thinking? And he said, well, if we could go out and slice big, jagged pieces of limestone off of the side of the quarry, he says, that's kind of what I was thinking about. Uh, I said to Bill, I said, well, can I give me an idea what you think the face would want to look like? And he said, well, if, if you had an opportunity to get a sand wedge with a two-foot blade on it or a two-foot putting or golf head on it and could just take a big scrape or sculpt out of the face of the precast, that's kind of what I was thinking about and decided we would build sand molds in the uh, precast shop by mixing sand with uh, form oil and laying it out in the form smooth and then getting in and hand sculpting the face of the precast the way we thought what Bill wanted to see. So we did a mock-up piece. Bill came to the plant and took a look at it and said, that's perfect. So we continued on and made five separate pieces for the sign at Shriners with jagged edges and rock face looking faces and um, cast the pieces and erected the sign. We have a, a young man back there by the name of Max who now works in our quality control. At that time he was uh, working in the, the precast plant and he kind of got in there and did his own thing very artistically. When we, After we showed the architect the mock-up, he loved it. So this is just kind of what I had in my mind. So we continued on. Oh, I think it was much more economical than being able to go out and get big pieces of stone from the quarry because I don't know if he would have ever gotten pieces big enough. We have done some more sand molds since then and built our own custom liners for the Delta Dental Project out on Interstate 88. It was a project we did where we built our own form liners with the sand molds. So, uh, yes, I think we, we learned something, and we'd like to have that opportunity again.